Ever wondered why the Boeing 787 feels like a completely different species of airliner? Because Boeing didn't just innovate, they over-innovated. This jet was packed with so much new technology at once, airlines weren't sure if it was the future or a gamble. The 787 wasn't built like any Boeing before it. 50% carbon fiber, a wing that bends like a glider, a fuselage that barely corrodes, a structure lighter than anything in its class, revolutionary, or too much, too fast. Then Boeing did something no airliner had ever done. They removed traditional bleed air from the engines. The 787 runs on an all-electric architecture, compressors, pressurization, power systems, everything redesigned, huge efficiency gains, and a long list of early technical headaches. But here's where it flips. The Dreamliner became one of the most comfortable jets ever built. Higher humidity, lower cabin altitude, massive dimmable windows, quiet engines, and despite battery issues and production drama early on, the 787 is now one of the most reliable long-haul twins flying. So did Boeing innovate brilliantly or push too far too fast? Is the 787 the best long-haul jet today? Or is the A350 what the Dreamliner should have been? And here's the question. Did Boeing push composites too early or exactly on time?